Hi there, this is Boris. I've created a new account on Instagram called uh, at comics by Boris. Uh, so here I'm posting my original comic strip. So this account is dedicated to my original comic strips and I post almost every day. And uh, you can go check that out. These are observations, jokes and uh, bits that I have thought of. Um, so you can go check that out and give it a follow. I really appreciate it. So, and uh, so once again, I have a new account, Instagram account at Comics by Boris, on, and uh, I hope you will follow. Now let's get to the show. Hi everyone. Sorry, I'm uh, looking at the screen. I should be looking at the camera. Um, hi, this is Boris. Welcome to Sketchman Draw. So. Um, I just wanted to basically take you through the process of me doing the, my comic strips. So, um, so let me see if I can switch. Oh, I can't switch while I'm recording. So, okay. So this is basically my setup. Um, this is my laptop. Um, and then, um, actually, so just to show you quickly my setup. Um, this is a like a breakfast table. I don't know how you call it, but with Know, you, where you could um, adjust the inclination um, and I have on it <laughs> it's pretty scratched up um, this one is called the XP pen artist 12 it was the cheapest one I could find here in Bangkok so I bought it and I am really happy about it for the moment so let me put the phone on the stand and show you how I, <laughs> that's the noise of the, okay, so I think you can, I hope you can see it, okay, uh, let me bring it closer, okay, so it's not going to be clear, but um, I'll try my best, so, as you can see, I have this, uh, so this is just my folder um, where I have my, um, like the drafts that I have to use. So I think, so for example, what I do is I draw, you know, on, in pencils on my sketchbooks. And the reason I do that, in, I mean, I could also draw it directly on the tablet, but I just can't get those like fluid dynamic lines um i don't know it sort of it feels like a little bit stiff to me like uh, the tablet so for example like you know um this is some this is the one i'm going to ink and color it's very simple it's not it's nothing complicated so so yeah so i'm going to show you how i uh, do my comic strip so um i don't have i don't i mean i don't I don't have a printer or scanner, so I just basically take a picture with my phone, um, so that I and then I import my uh, the photo into my laptop, and then I'm going to. So now I'm going to switch on the XP Pen Artist Twelve, and let me. Okay. By the way, that wallpaper, I don't know if you can recognize it, is one from one of the, I think it's Spirited Away. It's from Spirited Away. So I usually turn off the light because it reflects against the, um, so it's very simple. So I'm just going to open uh, Clip Studio Paint. So as usual, I always use Clip Studio Paint. It's very, uh, I think, um, intuitive and perfect for comic book artists. Um, so as, as Clip Studio is opening, um, uh, please go follow my account on Instagram at comics by Boris and um, I'm going to also put for the, from from uh, from now on I'm going to put my um, the link so this is the last cartoon I did 
so hey, so what are you doing for Valentine's Day? And then my alter ego Bobo jumps in and says, which is another way of saying, do you have a boyfriend? You know, so um, it's silly, but um, okay. So I'm in Clip Studio Paint. I'm going to create a new folder in the layers. And I'm going to go to File, Import, and then I'm going to import the the pencils. Let's be honest, it's a very simple pencil. So it's like this, so I need to bring it down. And let me okay just so that you can see a little bit what i'm even though you, <laughs> in on xp on the screen of xp pen the the buttons and uh, the menu is super tiny um but anyway it's, okay I'm just using my phone to record everything. So I just bring it to the size. I usually so just in case I'll just make it a little bit smaller than so I have so the the paper in this file where I create my comic strips for Instagram, I've um sized this canvas to fit the size of a typical um Instagram um post Instagram photo so I'm going to grab the pen so yeah, I think you can't see it okay I think now it's better so let's start with this course I can't draw in the image I need to create a new layer I'm going to call this layer ink and yeah this is too big I think this day was 15 okay so <laughs> this is basically me trying to draw myself like a cartoon version of myself When I'm cartooning myself, the my hairstyle is never consistent. Usually when I have a haircut, I make my character have a haircut. And um, you, if you're familiar with my cartoons, you might have noticed that I don't draw the noses. And please go check out my comics and leave your honest criticism. Um, I'm trying to build a following. Um, I am trying my best to post every day new original comics, comic strips. Um, so it's almost like a memoir or like, um, um, how do you say this? Uh, I'm sorry, my my brain is shut off. Um, memoir or like just uh, just thoughts and on the on my bio in Instagram, I said uh, just the comic strips about how it feels to be human. I mean, I don't know, are there any other way to put it? 
which I think is the uh, the best reason to create art. To express how you feel. So yeah, the, the hand was not great there. And this is, I mean, this is like a, you know, it's like the editing process. It gives me another opportunity to correct the things. Um, so when I'm penciling these type of things, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I, my, I, I pencil everything and then it's, you know, I just go and um, trace it for the inking process. But sometimes I just leave just enough information to, I think I'm going to make him, make, make him, make myself barefoot. Just to drive home the point. Something like that. Maybe break the bubble here. Now you might be sitting there and thinking, uh, you know, I can do this. I think you should. If you think you can, you should, I think. We need more creators, more voices. It's also kind of selfish, actually, um, for myself. Um, <laughs> but I think a lot of a lot of the things I do is I do them because uh, they just look fun to me, so I do them. Like for example, I started a YouTube channel because the people I like um, were creating. YouTube channels and it seemed that they were having a blast and I said, oh, that looks fun. Let me do that. And then um, I always loved podcasts. I would listen to, I, I still listen to a lot of the podcasts and actually I should be focusing on drawing more instead of listening to other people talk about drawing or talk about creating talk about movies um, okay let me center it um, so it's a little bit strange with the phone just near my forehead of course I am not this I have a belly I'm not <laughs> exactly this thin That's part of the cartooning magic, like movie magic. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I was, I was going to talk about podcast. Um, same thing with podcasts, like I've, um, I've listened to podcasts and I said, oh, that looks fun. And then I did that. So, okay, the angle, I've drawn this. So usually the, it should be here, the other leg. Yeah. And, you know, this one is, <laughs> it's, a, it's not, I mean, 
I try to be make people think and laugh, hopefully. But this one is definitely to make people think about what they're doing. Hmm. Okay, let me let me do that again. Again, same thing. I, I I trust the the people to get it. Sometimes people don't get it, but it, that's fine. That's okay. If you're wondering what I'm trying to say with this, <laughs> you have to go and. Um, Follow me on Instagram to get these comic strips and they're free. I want this um, character to be in uh, like shadows. So here it looks like he's wearing a, I'm just going to draw to make it look like he's wearing a suit. I live in Bangkok, so there we are in the center of coronavirus as I'm recording this the epicenter of the coronavirus I mean no not the epicenter because the epicenter is China but um, outside of China Thailand in terms of number of people affected by the virus is the is the country with the most people affected by the virus outside of China um, well, I'm, I mean, everybody is a little bit, I mean, everybody, so I, I, I wear a mask and I try to follow the instructions as much as possible, like, um, um, uh, okay, um, no, no, sorry, um, I try to follow the instructions as much as possible like wash wash uh, your hand after regularly and uh, and you know Bangkok is a very touristic place so there are many tourists you know sometimes people <laughs> are scared and whenever I take the sky train people are whenever there are tourists people always wonder are they Koreans are they Chinese you know it's nice. It's it's very strange too. Um. So usually I st I put the yellow background. So I don't know for some reason I just love that background. Okay. So I'm going to take this uh this lasso fill and do. This actually, this is going to be white, so something like this. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, let me start over. Um, I can erase the, the excess.
So this is a new feature in uh, uh, Clip Studio Paint. As you can see, it's uh, it uh, saves like like backups, like recovery automatically. I think it's I don't know exactly how. Like I think it's every fifteen minutes. So this is a new. So I, I used to zoom in to see like like if I'm really like getting the order of it, but then I was like, yeah, like nobody is going to pay attention to that. So the <laughs> I love I love this because it's it almost feels like I'm peeling off or sculpting okay since we are coloring peeling off paint it's very really satisfying um but at the same time this is what caused my previous tablet and so I used to have a you know the cheapest one the Wacom 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 Intuos and it also had was it, it, it works it worked perfectly I just sold it to a friend who wanted to make comics that's a really good reason to sell and also I, I got this one so I kind of I mean I, I kind of miss that one too so let me, so I, <laughs> I just give these names for the example silhouette. So I'll take the black, which works really great against uh, Let me do the lasso fill. Oops. Give him a chair. 
to sit on. And what I'm going to do is um, And then take the uh, <laughs> digital coloring is so easy, isn't it? Um, okay. Usually for my hair, what I do is um, I go in with it's too small. And then I remove the background. So it shows off the white underneath. I don't want to frighten my friends with this comic strip. As I'm drawing this, I'm... <laughs> I wonder if they'll think I'm suicidal or something. If you, if you read the thing, it, it's not about suicide at all. So you can also do one thing, which is you can grab the fill, lasso fill, and then um, choose the transparent color. And then remove. So good to know these shortcuts if you're a colorist and you have a long story to color Okay, I think that's great. I'm going to, so now I go back to the ink uh, layer. I just color in the belt. I think I can do the same thing on top. Okay, now let's go to the hair. So I have wavy hair. So I just, I do kind of this messy thing. So for the skin color and the trousers, I already have uh, set up these uh, things which I could color pick so that the colors are consistent. I'll add another layer for skin color. And let's see if, let's see if we can do Oh, okay, quite. Okay, it's done. And, uh, okay. Okay, fill in the rest. Okay, let's do the same thing here. 
I'm worried about this gap. You come to think of it like it sort of reminds the pose that um, Michael Keaton takes in Birdman. If you've seen that movie. Okay, that is very simple. So let's not forget. Okay, now for the trouser trousers. Ah, okay, so this happened. I think it's because so there were some people who were repairing the aircon here in my apartment, and they were washing the aircon, and I think some water dropped on the XP tablet, and since then it took this sort of grayish tone. So, for example, this is. Actually, this is blue, but it looks green, right? Yeah, but, I mean, it doesn't prevent me from doing uh, uh, what I like doing, which is draw, so. And thank God, like, most of the freelance work I'm doing is in black and white, so. Okay, so that's the, uh, I think it was pretty quick. So that's the, uh, oh, wait, the chair. What should we color the chair? I don't want to make it brown because then it will look like my skin. <laughs> okay, the last video just cut. Um, Got cut because it was exceeding the video limit. I'm just quickly. Hmm? Quickly. Uh, Now it's done. <laughs> Let me just take another transparent color. Follow me on Instagram and um, I'll see you in another video. Hope uh, this little process video was, uh, was helpful or showed you how I do my comic strips. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.